Hey Nessa babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Vanessa, she back and she better. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit your photos and videos with the 90s glam aesthetic, the dreamy aesthetic, the soft aesthetic, what else do they call it? The bling edit, you know? So this filter has been going viral on Instagram. Everyone has been obsessed with this aesthetic. So am I. So today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve it. There are a few methods that I use and few different apps that I use to achieve this for photos and videos so if you guys are interested to know how to do it then definitely keep on watching this video before we get started as per usual you guys know the drill make sure to give this video a big big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to become a Nessa babe because that would mean so so much to me and also let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to do next in the comment section down below and without further ado let's just get started in today's video Alright guys, so for the first method, I'm going to be using an app called Prequel. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this app if you're very interested in this sort of edit and 90s glam filter type of aesthetic. So this app is available, I'm pretty sure it's available on Android and iOS devices so you guys can go ahead and download that and this is by far the best app for this aesthetic. So first, obviously, you're gonna pick up a picture that you want to edit and click import it into Prequel. So this is the photo that I'm going to be using. And then I just go ahead and click on effects and look for the disco effect. And as you can see already, it has that aesthetic. So this is um, the first one. This is the second one, which is much more dreamier and much more 90s glam. They have a few free ones, but um, if you want to have access to all of it, then you have to pay. But this app is not like a one-time payment. You have to subscribe to it monthly, so that's why I'm passing on it. But yeah, then you can go ahead and uh, adjust. I can't speak today. Adjust the intensity. I think this is good. And then the filter, you can adjust it. I think I'm going to put it about 85 and then the scale is um, depending on how big you want the blink to be and then you can also rotate it if you want to and then I click check and then I go to filters again and apply this filter called Miami and as you can see already it gives that really 90s vibe to the picture and I absolutely love it but I'm not going to add too much I'm going to add about 20 and I'm going to click check and then I also go to the adjust button and I look for RGB so oops RGB it gives you that like glitch sort of effect so I like to put um, just a little bit just a little bit about at 11 so you can see on my face it has like um, some green sort of effect on it um, that's the effect from RGB so this is before and this is after oh my goodness look at that difference bruh oh my gosh absolutely love it and that is it for the first method it's the same thing for videos as well so let me just show you guys the video version real quick so this is a video I just took literally just now to perform this demo so again you go to effects and you click on disco and I typically like to use the second one because it gives that faded um, pinkish look to it um, so for the intensity I'm just going to lower it down because I feel like there's too much bling on it so you can if you feel like there's too much you can also lower down the scale it will minimize the bling sort of effect do you see so um, I'm just gonna put it up a little bit so as you can see compared to earlier the bling effect has been toned down and that's what I wanted so yeah and then for the filter you can add how much you want I'm gonna put it around 85 as well and then click the check mark and go to filters and add Miami Oof, so cute I'm gonna put about 40 for this one cuz like why not and then I'm gonna click check and then go ahead and Go to the adjust button again and hit on RGB and add a little bit of that. 
Ooh, that looks so good. This is the finished product before, baby, and after. So cute. Oh my goodness. I really love this aesthetic. I don't know why. And then quick check and then let the video export and just save it to your camera roll that is so freaking easy you can do this for your tiktok videos for your instagram like montage or something because they have a lot of other nice um filters here not only the bling they have like vhs as well you know like if you want that vhs vibe they also have it so you guys should totally try this app out it's really really good Alright guys, so the second method is where you have to manually edit the video or the pictures. So you cannot just like click on a filter and then everything is done, if you know what I mean. So literally just choose method one because it's like so freaking easy. But for method two, I'm going to be using InShot. This is what the app looks like if you have not heard of it download it it's really really good so I'm gonna click on InShot real quick and I'm gonna show you guys the video first so I'm gonna use the same video as earlier import it okay let's not do any frame all right and then what you're gonna do is click on your footage and then you want to click on filter and then click on adjust so what you have to do is obviously play with the lighting so for this sort of effect you want to bring the um, brightness up contrast all the way down because that's like the dreamy look and then for warmth i don't think you need to mess with that the most important thing for this edit is the tint so you want to click on the tint and then put it all the way up or just adjust it to your liking i'm just gonna you know stay here so it gives that pink tint that you know has that 90s vibe and then saturation just a little bit and then the other important thing is the color option so you go to color and then you see highlights and shadows so I would like to adjust the highlights and put it at purple so it gives that you know that vibe that pinkish vibe to it so if you don't want to then you don't have to but I'm just gonna put like around 30 I think 30 is good and then for the shadows put it at purple as well or even no no red is not that great but yeah put it at purple not too much just like a little bit you know and you can already see how it looks before after like so cute right and then you just want to click on check I'm pretty much done with it you want to save the video and here's where you add the bling effect let me show you guys hold on guys so i don't know what happened to the footage of me explaining this part but as you guys can see from my screen recording i just went and opened up snow app and went to the effects column and as you guys can see there are a few options for you guys to choose from and yeah you can also adjust the intensity of it but personally i still prefer prequels blink effect because the blink on this one is not that cute it's really small and you can't really adjust the scale of it but you know it still works but yeah i decided on one and saved the video Alright guys, so I've already imported the picture to InShot and as you can see, there's a bunch of options here. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to adjust and I guess brighten the picture up a little bit. Contrast, let's get it down and then go to tint, like I said, make it pink, you know, if you don't want it to be too pink that you don't have to go too much. Okay, we're going to keep it there and then for saturation you can go up if you want but this picture is already quite saturated and then again go to colors and then set the highlights to purple put it about 100 this time and then shadows to purple as well but this one i'm gonna tone it down a little bit okay hit check and then for highlights let's, mm, mm, yeah let's put it down shadows yeah let's put it down as well and then click check and then you want to go to the effects button and you want to click on RGB this one has RGB as well so that's good but the RGB is not the color that I want okay maybe here ah it's here okay okay I think the 
this is good click check and how do I show you guys the before and after so this is before and this is after bro you cannot tell me that is not exactly the same before after that's so cute okay now save the picture and then go back to snow go back to snow import the picture and then go to stickers is it or effects effects and then they have the bling that you can adjust see the bling is just not as aesthetic as i want it to be so like i would recommend you guys to download um prequel but this works as well it works it gives you that vibe Okay, so I'm going to settle with this and I'm going to save the picture. Save it. And this is the final product. Don't you think it's so freaking cute? So let's do a comparison, shall we? So this photo is edited in prequel and this one is edited in InShot. Which one do you guys like better? Same with the videos. This is edited at prequel and this one is edited at InShot. Which one do you guys like? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally prefer prequel, but both works for me. Like just in case prequel is no longer available or you have to pay for it, then we have a different option. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. I really hope that the edits and my personal method would be um, useful to you guys and that you guys will be able to use it in your future photos and videos and please 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 let me know if you use it in the future and if it works in the comment section down below I would love to know and feel free to tag me on Instagram at Vanessa Renault so that I can see you guys' edits and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to give this video a big big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to become a Nessa babe and also leave some comments down below on what videos you guys want me to film next because i really appreciate you guys' suggestions and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video